Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today you're joining me for a ride on this lovely blue and orange creation from Mango Bikes and this is a quick ride of maybe around six miles or so out from my hometown of Osra Street as to the left you can see the tower of the fire station here and we're going on what I call the non-rural route which is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek name as you can see here it's very much a rural route but well it even gets the thumbs up up there it's so rural but it's not quite as rural as another route of a road that runs sort of adjacent to this which I'll post a link in the description to a video of that and basically we're heading out from Oswald Street to the little boat that I live on which is on the canal down by a place called Chirk for anybody who also wants to google that and when you've got places like this along the route that I call the non-rural route you know that the rural route is a pretty spectacular place as well there's basically two roads that run sort of adjacent down here and they go between Oswestry and a little place called Western Rin and as you can see you are, if you're on either of those two roads, just cutting through the fields and countryside. One of them though is a proper really narrow lane for pretty much an entire four mile stretch so you can imagine that has far fewer cars on but even a ride like this as these are my two main commuting um, routes in and out to the boat for work over the winter time and if it's a cold or frosty or icy morning then I always go for this road because it's likely to have been gritted and is hopefully far more suitable to take a road bike on in the pitch black of the icy mornings. It's definitely a hair raising thing as every now and then I do drift down the other road and think ah yeah how bad can it be and speaking of the other road that turning on our right hand side is actually onto the road that I'm talking about. They're pretty similar in terms of elevation the more rural road is a little bit more up and down but ultimately they're very similar in length and very similar in sort of toughness because on this road you seem to get everything all done and dusted in the first or last depending on which direction you're traveling a uh, section of the bike ride and one of the things that I will say as well, just I don't know why I'm so obsessed with comparing these two roads during this video as we go past Western Rin School here. Um, but when I'm on that main road, I find that the wind affects me far more. And if it's a really windy day, I think because the country lane sort of got all of the big hedges and coverings over a large part of it, whereas this uh, the main road is much wider and much more open between big flat fields, it seems to really be able to influence me either in a positive way as we head down the road now and over the canal bridge to then go under the canal bridge. Uh, the wind will either push me and get me home or get me to work a lot quicker or it will go against me and sometimes I feel like I'm struggling to even pedal downhill. So this is my favourite part of the entire trip as you can imagine, arriving back home at the boat and as we cut down under the bridge here it's always that beautiful moment of ah yes I can see the boat just down at the far end, she's still floating, it's all good and you can breathe a sigh of relief. So at this point I'm going to wrap things up and say thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little bike ride. Please feel free to subscribe and check out all my other biking and narrowboat life videos. For the next three weeks at least, I am going to be posting one biking video every Friday, possibly beyond that. So check those out. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter as well and like the Facebook page for loads of photos and life on the canal updates. And please also check out my books available for the Kindle. Find all the links to everything mentioned in the description. And until the next time, have a fantastic day. Keep it boat-worthy, keep it bike-worthy, and farewell.